You know, then this last yesterday and today, I told my people, and and sometimes not my people, other people. About the need of a Sunday school. Why are the people willing to give? Because they know my life. They know I'm following God. So when I follow God totally, God will open more ways of blessings that God will bless many people through me. And when this church is full of people who want to go out and do evangelism, God will bless your health, your wealth, your family, and this area. I have gone to a church in the Philippines. The church was built in a slum area. That means people. And they gather people who are very poor. Now this pastor is very friendly. And he has trained people to be friendly. When I went into this church, I think about at least 50, 50 people greeted me and welcomed me. It has happened, never happened to me in other churches. This church is full of very warm people. And the name of this church is the Warm Body of Christ Family Church. It's very long name. The warm body of Christ family. So it's a warm body of Christ. That this body of Christ is very friendly. Very alive. So I want to say the first step to evangelism is that you're full of the joy of the Lord. You pray to God a lot. You believe in God's promises. So you're full of the joy of the Lord, the love of God, and the motivation to love people. Then whenever you see people, you will care about them. You will welcome them. Now this is a very important quality of a church. And learn to smile more. Can you smile to the person next to you? And say something nice to them? To bless them. Now that's one thing to learn. To smile. Another thing to learn. Eye contact. Now you look at me. You notice when I'm preaching. I'm, just, I'm not just looking at a group. I'm looking at you individually. Have you noticed that I've been looking at your eyes individually? That is eye contact. Now, if I talk to you like this, how are you? God bless you. And without looking at you, it's very different. But when you look at people's eyes and smile with them, that's very important. It will affect people. So when you listen to sermons too, don't sit like this. But you look at me and your pastor. That's you know, you're not just 
you are not just listening to the message. You are looking at me as a person and feel my excitement and my joy and the love of God and experience my life. Amen. So we want to show Jesus life. It's not just showing but we have it. We have the life of Jesus. So, so we show his life naturally. Wherever we are, we show God's life. If you, if you see how I look at the children and pray for the children, even though other people are telling them to leave, I still look at them and care about them. I have this heart. I hope you have this heart too. I know. Now this heart. I never want anyone who comes to me to be disappointed. I want people who contact me. Sense my care. Sense a life of God in me. Amen. So do you want to... Let people who contact you see the life of God in you. Yes. Yes. Now, when you are praising God and dancing, you will feel of life and energy. I can see that energy of God coming out of you. But I will encourage you, you can show more joy and love. When you're dancing, don't just but look at the people and smile. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. So, oh, hallelujah. So when you're dancing, you look at the people and smile. The people in the church and any newcomers, when they come to the church, they see the people smile. When you see any new one coming you greet them and welcome them. Now let Give you a chance to practice. How many people are new here today? How many people here are new today? Okay, now look at them. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Look, look, everyone look around. Five. Now everyone look around. One, two, three, four, five. Can you now go to them? Everyone go to them and greet them and welcome them to the church and bless them. Can you all go to them? Sasa swala ni hivi simameli kila mmoja mmoja muende kwa hao watu muotabasamu muonge nao na muakaribishe na muabariki simameli kwa mibu yenu. Okay, now all of you go to the newcomers and greet them and welcome them na muakaribishe and say I love you. Na muambie na kupenda. God bless you. Mungu wa kubariki. Jamesi simameli wote. So happy to see you. Come back again. Karibu tena. Unapa uji. And you can say this is your home. Wambie hapa ndio nyumbani. This is your home. Wambie hapa ndio nyumbani. Wambie hapa ndio nyumbani. Kuna wengine wengine huko karibu tena na hawa. Wambie hapa ndio nyumbani.
You know, I was so impressed when I came and saw the children. They were all looking at me like that. I'm touched by the eyes. And I, when I lay hand on them, they all reach out to me. Me. 
mkono kwake wanataka amweke mkono when we see life of people ukiona maisha ya watu when we see people have needs ukiona watu wana mahitaji and then we reach out to them alafu tukawaendea there is connection kuna muunganiko amen and yeah. this is the key to evangelism hiyo ndio funguo ya uinjilisti It's not just telling people about Jesus. Sio tu kwenda kwa watu unaambia Yesu Yesu hapana. Of course we tell people about Lakini Jesus. Lakini ni muhimu sana tuambie kumhusu Yesu. But first live out Jesus. Lakini kwanza lazima tumwache Yesu. And all day long in your home. Katika njia yao katika mambo yako yote kule nyumbani. When you're cooking. Unapokuwa hata unazuka kule. When you're sweeping the floor. Unapokuwa unafagia hata pale nyumbani. You be dancing and praising God. Na danza na upendo wa Kristo. Asante Yesu Alleluia You know many people in the world are not happy Unajua watu wengi hawana furaha Your love and joy will affect them Lakini upendo wako na mvuto kwao utawagusa And then when they come to this place wanapokuja mahali hapa always show them love lazima tuonyeshe upendo even people who reject Jesus hata watu waliokukataa mwana Mungu when your neighbor you tell them about Jesus ukiwa na majirani zako ambao kumhusu Yesu they reject Jesus watamkataa Yesu every time you see them kila wakati utakapowaona you still smile with them yani wewe watabasamia hata waliokutokana they say nice things to them nasema maneno mazuri kwao now some people when they Try to reach out to someone with the gospel. And a person reject them. Na mtu akakataa. And then from then on they won't see them when they see. Huanzia mahali hapo hawataki hata kuwaona. They won't look at them. Hawataki hata kuwaona. Is that a good testimony? Jamaa ni wewe ushuhuda mzuri. Mwe kama kanisa la Filipino, sawa? Eh. So we want to love them. Mtu anataka aonyeshe upendo even when they reject Jesus hata kama wamemkataa Yesu amen haleluya haleluya okay now i'm going to talk about this evangelism method sasa anaenda kufundisha njia za ujisi na mimi ni mnaandika maneno ya simu just now i talk about the lifestyle just first i talk about the lifestyle before sasa hivi alikuwa akizungumzia tu mfumo wa maisha The lifestyle of joy and greeting people. Mfumo wa maisha wa furaha na kuweza kusalimu watu. And loving people na kupenda watu. Very important. Ni muhimu sana. And then this next part is how to help people experience God. Sehemu ya pili inayofuata ni jinsi ya kuweza kusaidia watu wakaona mgoso wa Mungu. The first point is God can be experienced. Jambo la kwanza ni kwamba unaweza ukahisi ukamhisi Mungu. God is not just high up in heaven. Mungu hayuko tu kule juu mbinguni. He comes to us whenever we pray. Yeye anakuja kwetu kila mara tunapoomba. When we pray ourselves, napoomba kwa ajili yetu, or when we pray for people, au tunapoomba kwa ajili ya wengine, they can experience the presence of God. Wanaweza wakahisi uwepo wa Mungu. And this is how we can bring people to Jesus. Hivi ndivyo tunavyoweza kuleta watu kwa Yesu. Now this Bible verses mafungu yafuatayo. I told you the first day I came. Siku ya kwanza alipokuja mahali hapa. These are the Bible verses that you can use. Haya ni mafungu ambayo utakuwa ukiyatumia. When you pray for someone, unapoombea wengine, they experience the presence of God. Wakaona wakahisi uwepo wa Mungu. And then they tell you what they experience. And then you tell them these Bible verses. So these Bible verses I hope you remember. Now we don't have time to read through this. I'll just tell you the Bible verses. And then you use them when you do evangelism. The first one is John 14:27. Yohana 14:27. Here it talks about Jesus said, "My peace I give you." Hapa inasema amani yangu nawaachieni. Now many people experience the peace of God when they pray or when we pray for them. Watu wengi wanahisi uwepo wa Mungu wakati tunaomba au tunapoaombea. So you can ask you people, do they feel peaceful? So wakati umekisha kuombea mtu aweza kumuuliza kwamba ameisi akiwa na amani do they feel more calm when we pray for them Je wanasikia wamekuwa na utulivu wakati wa maombi and then they say yes i feel peaceful na sasa watasema ndio nasikia niko na amani and calm na ninasikia niko na utulivu 
And then you said Jesus has promised to give us peace. So in the prayer, Jesus came to bless you. Do you want Jesus to continue to bless you? Now this is very important. Now say this again after me. Okay? After the prayer you say this. Now everyone follow. Now when you say in Jesus name amen. And then you say please keep your eyes closed. Just tell them. Have you experienced anything during the prayer? Je, umehisi chochote wakati wa maombi? Umehisi chochote wakati wa maombi. Now if they have experienced peace, kama wamehisi amani, then you will, then you will say, sasa utasema haya. Jesus said I'll give you peace. Yesu alisema kwamba tutawapa amani. Yesu alisema tutawapa amani. Jesus has given you the peace. Yesu ashakupa amani. Jesus is very real to bless you. Yesu ako tayari kukubariki. Do you want Jesus to continue to bless you? Je, ungelipenda Yesu endelee kukubariki? And if the person is willing, kama mtu basi ako tayari, then you tell them about Jesus gospel. Aya mtu akikwisha kukubali sasa utaanza kumompea hadithi kuhusu Yesu Kristo. Okay, so this is how we use this method. Hivyo ndivyo tunavyotumia njia hii. Okay, another verse very important. Kifungu cha kingine ambacho ni cha muhimu ni hiki. Matthew 11:28. Mathayo 11:28 mstari wa 28. Mathayo 11:28 mstari wa 28. Come to me all you who are weary and burdened and I'll give you rest. Jehoni kwangu nyinyi mnao choshwa na kulemewa na mizigo mizito nitawapa pumziko. Many people said when they came alipokuja they were heavy in their hearts walikuwa na uzito ndani ya nyoyo zao but then after the prayer lakini baada ya maombi they feel the burdens go away wanasikia mizigo zimeondolewa they feel very light wanasikia wako wepesi and then we tell them na sasa tunawaambia jesus said yesu alisema all you who are weary and burdened ninyi wote mlio choshwa na kusumbuliwa na mizigo mizito come to me and i'll give you rest mje kwangu nami nitawapa pumziko and now you have experienced this rest na sasa umehisi huo mpumziko do you want jesus to continue bless you ungelipenda yesu aendelee kukubariki amen and then romans 5:5 warumi 5:5 warumi 5:5 The love of God has been poured into your heart by the Holy Spirit. Upendo wa Mungu unapulizwa ndani ya moyo wako kwa Roho Mtakatifu. Some people will experience love in the hearts. Watu wengine basi watahisi upendo katika nyoyo zao. Then you tell them. Alafu nawaambia The Holy Spirit has poured the love of God in your heart. Roho Mtakatifu ameweka upendo ndani ya roho yako. Do you want to continue living in the love of God? Ungelipenda kuendelea kuishi katika upendo wa Mungu. And then if the person is willing, kama mtu basi anataka, then you tell them about the gospel. Utamwambia sasa kuhusu injili. And also many people experience comfort to the body. Watu wengi wanasikia basi wametulizwa katika mili zao. Psalm 16 verses 8 to 9, Zaburi 16 mstari wa 8 hadi 9, Zaburi 16 mstari wa 8 hadi 9. Then Jesus said, I uh, know it's not Jesus. David said, Daudi akasema I've said the Lord always in front of me. Kila wakati Yesu ako mbele zangu. And then he said, my heart is glad. Akasema moyo wangu umebubujikwa na furaha. And my tongue rejoices. Na sasa ulimi wangu pia unashangilia. And my body will also rest secure. Na mwili wangu utakuwa na amani. Many people in the prayer, watu wengi katika maombi, experience comfort to the body. Wanasikia wamefarijiwa mili zao. It's like the body is very light. Ni kwamba sasa mwili umekuwa mwepesi zaidi. In great comfort, anapopata ule uwepesi mkuu. Sometimes people feel like floating. Watu wengine wanasikia ni kana kwamba wameelea. And then we will say to them, na sasa utawaambia, the Bible said, Biblia yasema, God's presence can bring 
the comfort to the body. Baraka za Mungu zaweza kuleta kufarijika kwa mwili. The body will rest secure. Mwili wako utakuwa na amani. And then for sick people, na kwa watu wagonjwa, they will feel more comfort. Watasikia pia wamefarijiwa. And then they will say, na sasa utasema, do you want Jesus to continue bless you? Ungelipenda Yesu aendelee kukubariki? Okay? And then Isaiah 61:1 to 3. Katika kitabu cha Isaiah 61 na moja mstari wa kwanza hadi tatu, Isaiah 61 na moja mstari wa kwanza hadi tatu. There it says that God will heal the broken hearted. Na yasema kwamba Mungu ataponya zile nyoyo zilizobondeka. And to proclaim freedom for the captives. Na kutangaza ushindi kwa wale waliofungwa mateka. To comfort all who mourn. Kufariji wale wanaolia, wanaomboneza. And the oil of gladness instead of mourning. Na sasa awape furaha badala ya maombolezo. So what it says here is. Kile inacho sema hapa ni kwamba. God will heal the broken hearted. Mungu ataponya zile nyoyo zilizo bondeka. Some people are sad. Watu wengine wako na uchungu. And God will heal the heart. Na Mungu ataponya. And also God will comfort those who are mourning. Na pia Mungu atawafariji wanaoomboleza and give them joy na awape furaha. And also freedom for the people in captives. Na wale ambao wameshikwa mateka watawekwa uhuru. Sema amen. I have seen many people in sadness. Nimeona watu wengi wakiwa na uchungu. And they will pray na tunapoomba They experience comfort. Wanasikia wamefarijika katika mili zao. And some of them start to rejoice. Na tunawaona wakianza kushengelea, kushangilia. They're full of joy. Na wamejazwa na furaha. So that is work of the work of the Holy Spirit. Hiyo ndio kazi ya Roho Mtakatifu. And then I'll ask them. Na sasa nawauliza. God has blessed you like this. Mungu amekubariki kiasi hiki. Do you want Jesus to continue bless you? Ungelipenda Yesu aendelee kukubariki? And then if they say yes, na wakisema ndio, then I'll say God is so real. Tawaambia kwamba Mungu ni kweli. And he died for your sins. Na amekufa kwa ajili ya dhambi zako. He can forgive your sins. Aweza kusamehe dhambi zako. And give you eternal life. Na akupe uzima wa milele. And then Psalm 4:8. Katika Zaburi 4 mstari wa 8, there is says that that I will lie down and sleep in peace. For you alone, O oh Lord, make me dwell in safety. Ya kwamba nitajilaza chini katika amani kwa sababu niko salama kwako ewe Bwana. I have also met people who have sleeping problem. Nimeona watu ambao wamelala wamelazwa chini kwa sababu ya matatizo. And after the prayer they go home and sleep well. Na baada wanapotoka kwenye maombi ya kurejea kule nyumbani wanakuwa na amani. And I said God has blessed you. Na nawaambia kwamba Mungu amewabariki. Do you want God to bless your whole life? Ungelipenda Mungu aendelee kubariki maisha yako yote. And then I bring them to Jesus. Na sasa ninawaelekeza kwa Kristo Yesu. And then about Driving out demons and healing. Na pia kufukuza mapepo na kusisimua hisia. Mark 16 verses 17 to 18. Mariko 16 mstari wa 17 hadi 18. Mariko 16 mstari wa 17 hadi 18. There Jesus said, Apo Yesu anasema, Miracles will follow those who believe. Ishara hizo zitawaandama wale wanaoamini. In my name you cast out demons. Katika jina langu mtawafukuza mapepo. You lay hands on the sick and they'll be healed. Mtawawekelea mikono walio wagonjwa na watapona. So here it says that all who believe has this miracles. Ya kwamba wale wote wanaoamini wataona hizo ishara. You can drive out demons. Waweza kufukuza mapepo. And you can lay hands on the sick and they'll be healed. Waweza kuwekea wagonjwa mikono na wanapona. So this is a promise of God. Hiyo ni ahadi ya Mungu. Let me tell you. Wacha nikwambie. You will experience these miracles. Wewe utahisi miujiza hizi. Now at this point I'd like to invite a child, I mean a more a not not the tiniest one, that more mature they can ask a question. And an adult, any adult, any child can come forward. I'll pray for you right here, demonstrate. Sasa nataka niwalikeni mtu mmoja asikuwe ni mtoto ambaye nataka ni muombe tufanye mfano fulani. Okay. Any child, any uh, ad, uh, adult, any mtu yote ambaye angelipenda kukuja kuonyesha ishara ya kitu ambacho anafundisha aje basi aonyeshe hiyo ishara. Can, Anataka kukuwekea mikono na kuombe. He can be one of the newcomers too. Anaweza kuwa hata mmoja wa wale wageni ambao wametembelea leo. Welcome, welcome. Karibu sana, karibu sana. Okay. Sana. Hey,
I pia tunataka mtoto aje tena, mtoto ambaye anaweza kusema. Any child. Mtoto yeyote yule anayeweza kuzungumza. Uh, uh, let, let the other child have a chance. Ah, uh, wacha mwingine akuje. You're very nice. Si wewe, wacha like mwingine akuje. But give them a chance. Okay. Uh, okay, very good. Close the eyes. Relax. So I invite someone to pray. I say, close your eyes. And relax in the Lord. And think of Jesus. And Jesus is blessing us. And then in the prayer, I will say simple words. Like, thank you, Jesus. You love us so much. Now when I pray, it's like my spirit flies to God. It's like my whole person goes to God. Thank you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. You can stand up too. You can stand up, you can stand up and close your eyes. You can stand up and close your eyes. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus.
in the lower abdomen, she's feeling some heaviness. Okay, now, so what happened is God is trying to deliver you. And we can spend more time to pray for you. You can sit down, you can sit down. Now, no, stay here, stay here. Okay, now, have you experienced anything during the prayer? Hold the mic, hold the mic. Stay, stay here, stay here. Umesikia nini wakati wa maombi? Endelea kuomba, endelea kufunga macho yako mama endelea kuomba. Funga macho yako wewe ukiendelea kujua. Kuomba ndani ya moyo wako. Wewe nao umesikia nini wakati wa maombi? She says she has not had anything. But did, did she feel in her heart and over the body like anything like uh, peaceful, lighter, or the body comfort? Katika kifua chako umesikia labda umefarijika, umesikia unakuwa na amani, hauna mawazo mengi kwenye mwili wako. She says yes. Yes, okay. Now, now I want to explain this. Some people did not realize that peace came from God. Watu wengine wanaweza kufikiria kwamba amani haijatoka kwa Bwana. Or the comfort came from God. Ama kufarijika kumetoka kwa Bwana. They're looking for something very different. It could be a peaceful feeling coming to them. So we can ask them, so have you experienced anything in your heart and over your body? Do you feel more peaceful and comfort to the body? Now, so, so you can describe it. Help, help her, ask her to describe it. So, does she feel more peaceful or of comfort to the body? Yes, like Jesus. Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Do you feel more peace and more comfort to your body? Yes, 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 yes. 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 Yes, 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 yeah, and, and this one, no, 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 no. This one here, sitting in front of the green. Uh, yeah, right. You, and then anyone. The next one. The next one can come. Uh, let the little ones come. Come. What's up, Tom Changa? Who you are, Who you? Yeah. Now tell them to close their eyes. And think of Jesus. Now, because I want to show to pray for real little children. Manake pia nataka ni kusaidie ujue vile ya kuombea watoto wa doko. Then you might feel more confident to do. Ili kwamba pia wakapate kuhisi umefarijika. Tell them to think of Jesus. Aya, mufikirie kuhusu Yesu. And love Jesus. Na muka mpende Yesu. Relax and tell them to relax. Na alafu mutiachirie kabisa. Oh, hallelujah. Now you can all stand up to pray too. Thank you Jesus. Mami wote pia tuombe. Thank you, Jesus. Asante, Yesu. I love you, Jesus. Nakupenda, Yesu. Bless the two children. Bariki hawa watoto wawili. Be with them. Ukakue nao. Thank you for your love. Asante kwa sababu ya upendo wako. God is wonderful. Mungu ni wa ajabu. God is good. Mungu ni muema. God cares about us. Mungu anatujali. God is with us. Mungu yu nasi. Welcome Jesus. Karibu Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yesu. Yesu. Yesu, Yesu, Yesu. Yesu, 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 Yesu. Yesu, Yesu, Yesu. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now, please keep your eyes closed. Tell them. Have you experienced anything in your hearts, in your, over your body? Katika moyo wako, umesikia kitu chochote tunapokuwa tukiomba mtoto. Okay. Umesikia nini wakati tumekuwa tukiomba? 
his 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 and his heart. Okay. How about the body? Ask him the body. Na mwili wako unasikia aje unahisi aje sasa. How about the body? Do you feel something in your body? Over your body? Unahisi chochote kwenye mwili wako. Close your eyes. Fumba macho yako. Fumba macho yako. Kuna chochote amacho unahisi kwenye mwili? Now, do you feel comfort? Unasikia umetulizwa, umefarijika? Comfort to the body. Mwili wako umekuwa na amani, umefarijika. Do you feel that? Unahisi hivyo. Okay, now, you turn around. How about you? How about you? Umesikia nini na wewe? Na mwili wako. The joy come to my joy. Can you describe it? Waweza kutueleza ni kitu kina unasikia? Unasikia? Unahisi aje? Yes, kitu chocho. You feel happy inside? Yeah. Yeah. How about the body? Na mwili, na mwili unahisi aje? Yes, chocho. Okay. Now, do you feel any comfort? Na unasikia umetulia, umefarijika, hauna matatizo? Mm. Yeah. Yes. Now, let me tell you, many children experience comfort to the body. But now, if they say they don't experience anything, you can ask. You know, do you experience peace, comfort, you know, the, the heart lighter? They say yes, then you thank God. If they say no, then you say, doesn't matter. You pray to God, God will hear your prayer. You don't have to force them to say something, but we can ask them because sometimes they don't know what to say. Okay, thank you. Now, let, me, let me tell you, you experience something because God came to you. Because God cares about you. And He came to bless you. Do you want Jesus to continue to bless you? Do you want Jesus to continue to bless you? Yes. You know, Jesus will continue to bless you. Okay, thank you. You can go back to your seat. Okay, so I'm telling you, go out and pray for children and adults. Especially people who are not happy. Now for people who are unhappy, for people who are unhappy, they can experience the sadness go away very quickly. And then you can bring them to Jesus. Okay, now I'm going to briefly talk about how to do evangelism with this. The first thing, first thing, you listen to the person, you talk with the person. You find out, you know more about this person. But don't make him feel pressured. You don't have to ask detailed questions. You just ask general questions. And then let him talk. And when a person talks, we we'll listen. Now hold your hand, hold your ear, hold your ear, hold your ear. Listen. Now if they say anything, they say, I'm unhappy. Immediately you remember he is unhappy. Now, you can put down your hands now. You hear the person is unhappy. Then you want to find out more. Jaribu kuendelea zaidi ujue mengi mengi. What made you unhappy? Ni nini kilicho kufanya kwamba hauna furaha? What uh, did something happen to you? Je, kuna chochote ambacho kimekutendekea? So this is to find out more. Hii ni kujaribu kutafiti kupata mengi. If the person says, well, I something happened to me. Kama mtu atasema kwamba kuna kitu kilicho nitendekea. Something happened to my family. Kitu kimefanyikia familia yangu. Then we listen. And I ask what happened. And look here. Respond with feelings. Think about if it were you. That has something like that happened. How would you feel? 
Ujifikiria kwamba kama ni wewe unayepitia machungu haya utahisi namna gani? If the person says my family member my mother got sick. Basi kama mtu atakwambia kwamba mama yake amekuwa mgonjwa zaidi. He merely feel the feeling. Wakati huo huo pia wewe vaa hicho kia tu uanze kujisikia vile anavyojisikia. If your mother gets sick. Kama mama yako anaweza kuwa mgonjwa. How would you feel? Wewe utasikia namna gani? And then you will say to the person. Na sasa utamwambia mtu huyo. You must be unhappy. Ni lazima hauna furaha. You will worry about her, right? Najua uko na mawazo mafikira mengi kumuhusu. It's not easy to have a mother who is sick. Najua sio rahisi kuwa na mama ambaye ni mgonjwa. That way you respond to the feeling. Yaani na inaonyesha kwamba unaitikia zile hisia zake. Don't start by saying Usianze na kusema pray to God and you'll be okay. Omba tu kwa Mungu utakuwa sawa. Because the person first need us to feel his feelings. Manake mtu huyo anataka kwamba sisi ya kwanza tukapate kuwa na hisia sawa na yeye. Now say this after me. Murudia mambo haya nyuma sasa. It must be difficult for you. Najua ni ngumu kwako tuseme. Najua ni ngumu kwako. You will feel unhappy, right? Najua hauna furaha sawa. It's hard to face this problem, right? You feel burdened, right? It is hard to solve this problem, right? This way you're saying, I feel your feelings. Kwa hiyo njia unasema kwamba pia wewe unahisi ule uchungu au anaohusikia. I know it is hard. Najua kwamba ni ngumu. Okay now after we finish listening, ukishamaliza kusikiliza and responding, na sasa umeshaitikia. And then we, the next step is, na sasa kile kinachofuata ni hiki. We can say I have similar experience before. Utamwambia mambo haya sio ya kwako peke yako hata mimi nishayapitia. Or someone has similar experience. Kama mtu fulani yule yule unayemjua pia amekuwa na mambo kama haya. And then we pray na unapoomba and the burdens go away na unapoomba mizigo utasikia imeenda so i experience the holy spirit take away the burdens unasikia roho mtakatifu akiondoa mizigo do you like me to pray for you ungeli unamuuliza ungelipenda nikuombe and then if the person says i'm willing kama mtu atasema ndio niko tayari then you say please keep your eyes closed utamwambia sasa fumba macho yako think of god loving you fikiria kwamba mungu anakupenda god is blessing you mungu anakubariki and then you yourself will love god na wewe sasa utampenda mungu that's the key to the anointing of the holy spirit huo ndio ufunguo wa upako wa roho mtakatifu then i will Reach out my heart to God. Na sasa nitawacha roho yangu ikamwendee Mungu. And I'll say I'm laying up my hand on you now. Na nimwambie sasa wacha nikuwekelee mikono. And then in the prayer I will say simple prayer. Katika maombi nitaomba maombi rahisi sana. It's like thank you Jesus. Nimwambie tu asante Mungu. Jesus loves us. Yesu anatupenda. Jesus wants to bless us. Yesu anataka kutubariki. Jesus wants to heal this person. Yesu anataka kukukonya wewe. Jesus is blessing us now. Mungu anatubariki sasa. And then we can also sing. Na pia tunaweza imba simple songs. Wimbo ule rahisi. Yesu. Yesu. Yesu, Yesu, Yesu. So and then and then in Jesus name we pray. Na mwisho wake unasema kwa Yesu Kristo tumeomba. Amen. Amen. And then we we'll say. Na sasa utasema. Na say this with him. Aya murudie mambo haya. Please keep your eyes closed. Fumba macho yako. Have you experienced anything during the prayer? Umesikia chochote wakati wa maombi? And then if the person doesn't know, kama mtu hajui chochote, then you say have you experienced anything in your heart? Umesikia chochote kikifanyika kwenye moyo wako? Have you experienced anything over your body? Umesikia chochote kwenye mwili wako? And if the person describe it, Alafu mtu anapojieleza and then you say this is what Jesus has promised what the bible has promised utamwambia kwamba hayo ndio tuliyoadiwa katika biblia so God has blessed you Mungu amekubariki you want God to continue bless you ungelipenda Mungu aendelee kukubariki and if the person is willing na kama mtu ako tayari we tell them about Jesus tunamwambia kuhusu Kristo Yesu he came from heaven alikuja kutoka mbinguni to die for our sins kukufa kwa ajili ya dhambi zetu when we confess our sins unapokiri dhambi zako and trust in Jesus. Yes. He will forgive us. Atakusamehe. Sema amen. Are you Are you willing to let Jesus forgive you? Je, uko tayari kusema kwamba Yesu akusamehe? And then if he's willing, 
anapokuwa kwa tayari they will lead them in a prayer tutamuongoza kwenye maombi okay now you stand up will lead you in a prayer haya sasa tusimame tunapoongoza kwenye maombi now try to remember this prayer ujaribu kukumbuka maombi haya you can say in a simple way unaweza iomba kwa njia rahisi okay and then you close your eyes sasa mkafumbe macho yenu Dear Heavenly Father. Useme baba wetu wa mbinguni. Or you say dear Lord Jesus. Ama useme bwana wetu Yesu. Thank you for blessing us in the prayer. Asante kwa kutubariki katika maombi. I'm sorry for my sins. Samahani kwa dhambi zangu. I've been angry with people. Nimekuwa nimekasirishwa na watu. I've told lies. Ambapo nimenena uongo. I've heard people's feelings. Nimejeruhi hisia za watu. I have not worshiped God with all my heart. Sijamwabudu Mungu kwa roho yangu yote. Please forgive my sins. Tafadhali samehe dhambi zangu. Come into my heart. Njoo ndani ya moyo wangu. To be my savior. Uwe mwokozi wangu. Give me eternal life. Ukanipe maisha ya milele. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. In Jesus name we pray. Kwa Yesu Kristo tumeomba. Amen. Amen. And then you ask a person. La sasa unauliza mtu. Have you prayed sincerely? Have you prayed sincerely this prayer? Kama utaomba maombi haya kwa uhakika. If you have, na kama uko, congratulations. Mungu akubariki sana. Jesus has give you eternal life. Mungu amekupa maisha ya milele. Jesus is in your heart. Yesu ako ndani ya moyo wako. And then we can teach them a simple prayer. Na sasa pia tunaweza kuwafundisha maombi rahisi. Now I'm going to say this simple prayer. Nataka kutamuka maombi haya rahisi. Because they won't remember a long prayer. Manake hawatakumbuka maombi mrefu. A simple prayer like this. Maombi rahisi ni kama haya. Close your eyes. Aya tufumbe macho tena. Dear Lord Jesus. Baba wetu Yesu. Please forgive my sins. Samehe dhambi zangu. Please give me eternal life. Tafadhali nipe uzima wa milele. Please come into my heart. Tafadhali njoo kwenye moyo wangu. Tafadhali njoo kwenye moyo wangu. Bless my whole life. Bariki maisha yangu yote. Bariki maisha yangu. Bless my family. Bariki familia yangu. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. I love you Jesus. Nakupenda Yesu. In Jesus, with Jesus' name we pray. Kwa Yesu Kristo tumeomba. Amen. Amen. So this is a simple prayer. Haya ni maombi rahisi kabisa. Okay, now please be seated. Haya tukie tutafari. Now do you remember this method? Haya tukie. Let me say again. Let me say again. Unakumbuka njia hii, wata nirubie tena. Listen to people, talk with people, listen to people. Ya kwanza, ongea na watu na uwasikilize. Respond to their feelings. Itikia maisha zao. Share our similar experience. Pia ukashiriki nao mtu aliye pitia matatizo kama hayo. Ask them to say it after. Say it, say it from the beginning again. Aya tuombe pole si tuombe. Murudia mambo haya nyuma sasa. The first. Ya kwanza. Talk with people. Ongea na watu seme. Ongea na watu. Listen to people. Sikiliza watu. Respond to their feelings. Itikia isia zao. Itikia isia zao. Share similar experience. Shiriki isia izo izo pia nao. And how we experience God's help. How we experience God's help. Na jinsi tunavyo hisi msaada wa mungu. Na jinsi tunavyo hisi msaada wa mungu. Invite to pray. Invite to lay hand on them. Aha. Basi uwe tayari kwa wekelea mikono. And then lay hand on the person. Na sasa uka wekelea mikono kwa mtu. And then ask them. Na sasa uwaulize. Please keep your eyes closed. Na fadhali fumba macho yenu. Have you experienced anything during the prayer? Umehis chuchote wakati wa maombi? If they have experienced something, kama wamehisi chochote, tell. Speak it. Ongeeni. Tell them it's the work of God. Wambie ni kazi ya mungu. Ask them if they want God to bless the whole life. 
Waulize kama wangalipenda Mungu abariki maisha yao. Waulize kama wangalipenda maisha yao. If they are willing, kama wako tayari, tell them the tell them the gospel of Jesus Christ. Mwambie injili ya Kristo Yesu. Mwambie injili ya Kristo. Lead them to pray. Ukaongoze kwa maombi. To confess to confess his sins dhambi, and ask Jesus to forgive them. Na kumuliza Yesu kumsamehe. And then you tell the person. Na sasa utaendelea kumwambia. If you pray if you pray sincerely, kama utaomba kwa uhakika, God, God has given you eternal life. Mungu atakupa maisha ya milele. Amen. And then you help the person to go to church. Na usaidie mtu huyo kwenda kanisani. And to pray to God. Na kumuomba Mungu. Now do you have any question? Aya, uko na swali lolote? Now pastor you need to practice this with people from time to time. Now you know the general method. Yes. Now, right now we're just going to conclude but the way we do it is first you pray for the person next to you. Tunaenda kumalizia lakini sasa kipindi hiki uombe jirani yako mnyume kiti. And then after the prayer you say. Na unapomaliza kuomba useme Please keep your eyes closed. Unapotaka okay, ukisamaliza kuomba mwambie endelea kufumba macho yako. Have you experienced anything during the prayer? Umehisi chochote kwenye maombi. And then you reverse the role and try again. Ukisha muombea huyu jirani wa mkono wa kulia akisha kueleza mkimalizana na yeye sasa wewe unaanza kumwombea yule mwingine. Muombezi sasa uombee muombewa. Now you can pray for adults or pray for children. Na uh, watu ambao wamekomaa muta uh, pia mtaombea watoto. And I want to let you know that you have the power of the Holy Spirit. Na nataka uelewe kwamba hata wewe uko na nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu. When you have faith in God. Kama uko na imani kwa Mungu. Okay, let us stand up now and try to do it. Haya tusimame sasa tuanze kuombeana.